y'all, it's Farmer Mima, and today I'm going to show you what I've been doing and what I've done so far to take care of the pantry moth situation. Now, these little pesky boogers are, they go into every nook and cranny, okay? And so you've got to take care of every nook and cranny. And I've not taken care of every nook and cranny yet, but I'm in the process and things are working and I want to show you what is working and what I've done so far, okay? Number one, I, I need to point out this is not pantry organization. I've not organized this. All I've done is take care of business to get rid of the pantry moths, okay? I will organize this and share that in a video later. But the first thing I had to do, um, you know, I had cereal stocked up, and they love cereal, y'all. And so you need to get rid of all those paper boxes, any kind of cardboard boxes you have, cereal, cake mix, whatever it is, you need to go through all that stuff. Um, and I also had a bunch of goldfish. And so, let me show you up here, goldfish. All different kinds of goldfish that I bought and stocked up on. And um, all of these, all of these mason jars were full when I first put everything in there. So the kiddos are, are using them. This is apparently making everything more visible so that, number one, the kiddos know what it is and see it. But it also makes it more visible so I know how much we're going through. So anyway, um, so I put everything into mason jars. Y'all, we have so much cereal. This is actually a two-quart. Um, I put some cereal in two quarts, everything. Cookies, once a package of cookies were opened, they go into a mason jar. Um, you know, pasta, goldfish, my oatmeal. I was so afraid, y'all. I was so afraid because, you know, oatmeal comes in those cardboard kind of, you know, canister container things. And I just knew. I just knew it was going to be infested. But it was not. Hallelujah. It was not. And so, I got all of that, all of my oatmeal into containers. And so, but before I even did that, y'all, the first thing I did... She sounds so vicious, doesn't she? And she, whoo, y'all, she is if somebody comes up on that porch that she doesn't know. Mm, anyway, so the first thing that I did, y'all, was take everything out of my cabinets, okay? And then I used, I keep it over here just to show, so I have it close by. I used this, y'all. Bleach 5-in-1 all-purpose cleaner. This stuff is the bomb. But it has bleach in it. I was not taking any chances, y'all. Some people say use vinegar. Um, I use bleach. I just, I just, y'all don't know how angry and agitated I was with those moths. So anyway, took everything out. Wipe everything down. Now let me tell you this. And I can't really show you, but this shelf let me see if I can lift it up a little. Okay. See this shelf moves? You see that? Okay. I took this, this shelf out. And underneath, it's held up with these little things. But there are actual notches cut out from the underside that you can't see. Um, where the shelf sits. On, it's like a little notch cut out. Where the, the shelf sits on this thing to hold it up. Okay. There were actual nests and larvae in, in the little cutout of this shelf, which is like particle board inside it. And these little the little things that hold the shelf up have little it had little ridges and grooves in it. Y'all, there were larvae and nests in those ridges and grooves. So, let me see, y'all, if I can maybe raise this enough. Like, okay, y'all. If you can see, I'm going to try to hold it up. This thing right here, okay? That little thing that sits right there. That, so all of those, I took all of those out. Soaked them in hot bleachy water, okay? I also bought just regular bleach and had bleachy water and a rag in my sink. Hot, steaming hot, too hot to touch water with bleach in my sink. 
And so I put those in there. Anything like that, I put in there. And then I sprayed everything down with bleach and I let it sit for a little while. And then I wiped everything down. I also went over across the top and got all that greasy dust. Y'all, do y'all know that disgusting greasy dust that's in the top, top of your kitchen? Oh my word, it was overdue. But anyway, I cleaned all that down. And then before I put anything back into these shelves, I would go through and I would open my boxes. I would check every edge. I would look inside and see if there was any sign. If there are any of those little webby, cobwebby things dangling down, it went in the garbage. Um, but I really didn't end up having to throw that much away because there was like, basically the only things I had to throw away were like salting crackers, graham crackers, and Ritz crackers. They love crackers. But, um, those were the only things I had to throw out. So, um, so far. But what I did was I would check everything to make sure it wasn't, you know, compromised. And then I would put it in a mason jar. Now, some things were already in mason jars. And so this is what I did. I knew more than likely if it was in a mason jar, well, I, I still checked it, you know, and I moved it around to make sure there wasn't any of those little telltale signs that those little things are in there. But then what I would do, I would hold, I would hold the top down while I unscrewed it because I didn't want anything to get in if there wasn't anything in there. And then I would unscrew it and make sure around, because right around this rim, they could get in there and lay their little eggs or whatever. And so, if there was any sign there, I would wipe it down with bleach water, y'all. I wasn't taking any risks, I'm telling you. I didn't get it inside the lid, but around here. And I would check and make sure there wasn't any signs, you know, inside the lid. And there wasn't, because they can't get in there. Um, but I would, I would check around the, the edges. And then, anything, some things you're just not going to need to put into mason jars. Um, but you, you still need to check. And so, y'all... You can't see down here, but there is like, here, let me, I'm going to pan you down a little bit. That is our pan, this whole bottom shelf down there is all peanut butter. That's our peanut butter storage, okay? But, um, what I'd do is I'd go around and I would check around the rims and around this part. And I would make sure, even the ones that have never been opened, make sure... That there is no sign of any of those little boogers in there. And there wasn't. I was I was really lucky, y'all. Um and then like honey. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put my honey in a mason jar. But a lot of this stuff, I can't open it now, y'all. But I would just open and if there was any sign, I'd wipe it down with hot water and then put the lid back on. And then once I got everything cleaned out. And all the bleach, I, you know, as I said before, I would let the bleach sit for a little while. Then I would wipe it down. And then, y'all, bay leaves. And I got these at Walmart. And they were only... Oh, it smells kind of like tea. Um, but they were only like $1.98 for organic. Organic. Um, bay leaves. But anyway, I would take a bay leaf out and I would put a bay leaf. See, there's a, here's the bay leaf. I put a bay leaf on every shelf and then I would keep the door closed as I was working so that that bay leaf smell would be strong in there because bay leaves apparently repel those moths and so I'd put a bay leaf in and then I would as I would check everything and make sure it's clean wipe it down I would put it back in the shelf and so that's you know how I handled this now this there's a drawer down here and it, right now it's empty. It had my dish rags and my um, oven mitts and things like that in it. And there were signs that there were that sort of activity, that moth activity down there. And so what I did, I took it out and I sprayed it down with bleachy water and I wiped it down. Um, and that, I took out all of the dish rags and everything. And I'm not putting anything back in there. Because I have found those moths in the store before. So I'm not putting any of that stuff back in here until I've washed it. Um, and as they're cleaned and folded. New, fresh and new. Um, oh, 
And as I'm as I'm sitting here doing this, there's not a bay leaf in this drawer. So I'm going to put a bay leaf in that drawer and close it up. And I try to keep the um, I try to keep the cabinet door closed up so that that bay leaf smell will stay strong in there and continue to repel the little boogers. I also something else that I did as I was doing this. Um, I love these things, okay? And it's Tarot brand Pantry Moth Trap, okay? And look, y'all, do y'all see them all? Do you see them? Um, I do not keep, I know I just got this out of this cabinet. I don't keep it in the cabinet, y'all. Um, I just had it here so that it would be handy for me to grab for this video. I usually have it on the other side. I don't want to put this over here because I'm repelling. I've got those bay leaves to repel. And this has, if you see that little pink square in there, and this has pheromones in it. And y'all, it works. The first five minutes that I had opened this up, it was like they smelled it as soon as like that pheromone right there was in a, its own little plastic baggy container thing. And so as soon as I opened that, y'all, I'm sure that pheromone just went poof into the air and I had moths flying down from the ceiling area so anyway um and so I usually have it sitting on the other side of the room and they find their way to it and I've got another one in my bedroom and I want to go back and just get more just to put throughout the house because they like I said they do they do work y'all and this has been out for several days now maybe almost a week maybe but it's working, and every day I check and I count to see if there's more. Um, so, anyway, I put this out to catch the moths that I guess are getting ready to mate or in the mood or what. So, or whatever. But, um, I'm going to do this to every cabinet that has food in it. Even canned goods, you need to look around and you need to wipe them down, y'all. Um, my nose itches. And anything in paper or plastic my I'm going to open up all of my cake mixes and brownie mixes that are in boxes and I'm going to look over real good to make sure there's nothing there to make sure they're safe and then they're going into one of my icing buckets which is airtight and I will probably put um, those little oxygen absorbers in it so that if there's anything in there they're not going to get any air um, as new things are coming into the house like anything that's flower like um sugar really doesn't come into the house that much but if we buy like a pancake mix to make pancakes for the kids and things like that those things will either go into the freezer or into mason jars right away a lot of people say you can you know if you're not sure about something put it in the freezer for at least three days and then it should be good to go if anything was in there it killed it. And a lot of people will do that but when they bring anything into the home. Y'all, my nose. Before they bring anything into the home, just as a precaution, and that is not a bad idea, y'all. Um, it is also a good idea not to bring bird feed into your home. Leave it outside. So, anyway, and inspect it. As soon as you get it, when you open it up, make sure that there's not any pantry moths in it to begin with. But, um, even like on this side, this is just pots and pans and things like that, but I'm taking, I'm going to take all this out. I've been waiting, y'all, so I've, my dishwasher is getting a workout because I'm also cleaning out my refrigerators and pouring out old, like, kombucha and stuff like that that I haven't drank and that's past, you know, well, I mean, it's, y'all, I'm sure it's still fine, but it's sweeter than I would drink it. So I'm pouring that out and just getting a fresh start and washing everything. And so eventually I'm going to take out all my pots and pans and run those through the washer. And I'm going to scrub everything down with bleach in here as well. Anywhere there is food, wiping it down with bleach, putting a bay leaf in it. And um, before I put everything back, you know, wiping everything down and putting it back and keeping that bay leaf in there. And that's what I'm doing. And so far it seems to be working so, but, y'all, and underneath appliances, I had my meat slicer was up on this top shelf. It's not up there right now. But, um, I had my husband clean it for me because it's kind of bulky and heavy. 
and it's technically his <laughs> meat slicer. But you clean under stuff. If you've got like a um, food processor or a blender or any a toaster, y'all lift it up and wipe up under it. Clean up under it. Look under it. Make sure that there's not little things going on down there because they will get in every nook and cranny, y'all. Okay, so that's it for now. This was a lot longer than I expected it to be. But yeah, that's what you got to do, y'all. And you can get rid of those pantry moths. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck to me, too, because I need it, too. But I'm getting rid of them, y'all. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.